What's up, Pokemon Bay? It's me. You should know who I am by now. And I've got a battle here versus King Daddy DMAC. You should also know who he is. He's one of the main people here on the Pokemon Pit. But yeah, um, here I got a battle from the stream in Battle for Charity. I was streaming and I've never actually battled King Daddy DMAC. So we decided to battle, but it was really nothing serious. We agreed to use random shit. He wanted to roulette, but I really don't see the point to roulette, so I just asked him if we could just take random stupid shit, and we agreed to it, so, yeah, he leads with a Kajando, I'm gonna lead off with Scarfy Hidoruma, as he, he goes for the fake out, and I'm pretty much just gonna stay and hope to catch him off guard with the Scarf Flurbits, and yeah, so, he, now he brings out Voltros, and I was expecting him to to go for the thunder wave since he does have the mischievous heart but he's actually scarfed as well so now my Hihiduruma dies as he goes out to Robopushin so I go to my Robopushin counter which is a Zapdos and this Zapdos does a really really good job of handling Robopushin um, Robopushin is probably never gonna beat the Zapdos one on one so yeah it's pretty good substitute toxic Roost and Thunderbolt as my only attacking option. So yeah, um, he brings in this grass poison type mushroom guy, and I was trying to get him to think I'd go for the, the heat wave, but I'm pretty sure he already knows what set I'm running, since I think he watches my videos, or maybe he doesn't. But yeah, he knows what's going on, and he knows I'm a sub substitute and I'm not gonna switch out since I know the mushroom thing carries the spore and I don't want anything asleep so he switches to Porygon 2 and I'm gonna go for the toxic which he knows so he brings out his Rapushin to activate his guts and I don't really care about it since Rapushin is never gonna be Zapdos doesn't matter if he has guts activated or not I could just substitute and roost off all the damage as he's gonna eventually die to the poison and the thunderbolt from me so I think this turn I go for the sub and I do as he brings in his um, mushroom thingy so I'm just gonna roost and then go out to my Deoxys since this is getting kinda boring and I guess I could uh, stall it out with um, pressure and roost and substitute but that'll be kind of lame so I go to Deoxys as he goes for a Giga Drain and I was hoping he'd fear an Ice Beam but this Deoxys actually doesn't have Ice Beam or maybe it does I don't know but I don't go for the Ice Beam I go for the Light Screen and this is my Dual Screen Deoxys so I go for Stealth Rock because it's the best move in the game and then he t waves me so that's pretty lame I guess since that pretty much voids this Deoxys speed which is like the only good stat it has really so anyway I was hoping he'd go for the ice beam or the the T-bolt so I went to Terra Keon try to force him out with the close combat but he actually predicts my switch and goes for the T-wave so that was really good for him and yeah I go for the close combat but here I'm thinking he's gonna go out to his mushroom type thing to resist the close combat so I went for the earthquake but that's pretty good for him since I guess he knew I wasn't gonna go for a second one but if he did go to the mushroom and I used close combat then he would have been able to outspeed me and probably one hit KO with a Giga Drain so that was a risk I didn't want to take and he knew it so he took advantage of that so here he gets a crit probably mattered probably didn't matter I don't really care cause I got Blastoise and Blastoise handles everything so yeah, Porygon 2 is actually kind of beast now with the Evolution Stone boosts the defense and special defense by 30% and with Recover it's not going to die anytime soon unless you have a Blastoise of course so yeah he goes out to Voltros thing Voltros whatever the fuck it's called goes for the the electric type U-turn and I hit him with the Maricote so that fucking annoying mushroom finally dies because everything dies to Blastoise because it's fucking amazing but unfortunately my health is too low and I'm not going to be able to take another one so at this point I think he's only got two left and his final Pokemon is an Absol and he also has that Voltros that you saw and I still have three left uh, Zapdos, um, Deoxys which is paralyzed and really weak 
and also an artillery, so I know a plus two night slash won't be able to kill unless he gets a crit. Fortunately, he does not get a crit, and I'm able to finish off his Absol. So now it's um, three to one. I kind of have an advantage, except not really, since all of all of my stuff is weak, and the only thing that's not weak is my artillery. But he's weak to to the Thunderbolt. So this is actually a pretty bad situation. I was hoping the Oxes would be able to survive one, so I could get up a light screen. And then I'd be able to live a Thunderbolt and then substitute and protect until my stat raises are good. This thing has an ability called Inconsistent which raises um, one of its uh, stats harshly and drops one of them by one stage. But unfortunately he doesn't miss the T-Bolt and I lose by one out. So good game King Daddy DMAC. Yeah you should go check him out and comment rate all that shit. I'm out.